Hey everyone, this is Dan Reeser from the Karura and Akala team. Um, in this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of um, kind of the, the setup of the Karura apps and just kind of give you a, a quick walkthrough of, of everything because it is a lot. Um, it's kind of an all-in-one DeFi hub, um, unlike um, other DeFi platforms you may have seen before where you have to kind of go to one website to do maybe borrowing and lending, another website to mint the stablecoin. Um, everything on Karura is kind of all in one place, so it, it's it, you got to take a little bit of time to learn your way around, but once you figure it out, it's it's pretty um, pretty easy to figure out. So this is the homepage. Um, I've connected my demo account from Polkadot.js. If you have multiple accounts, you can switch accounts here by going to account and then um, changing the account. I only have one on this um, extension. This will show you your total portfolio balance if you want to hide it. Of course, you can click this little I. Um, and then down here are more kind of um, stats and um, metrics from throughout the Karura apps. So you've got vaults that you could open for the stablecoin, um, staking, APY, and so on, and then LP, earnings, savings, and, and so on. This is the list of all the um, tokens and LP tokens that are listed and currently offered on Karura. This will continue to grow over time as more and more tokens are, are listed. Um, today's recording is being done on August 6th, so um, it's still very early in the launch and kind of lifetime of Karura, but um, we will begin to have other parachain te teams tokens listed here and it'll continue to grow uh, more and more. So next I'm going to talk about this section, so minting KUSD. This is where you would come to um, create a vault and mint KUSD with um, KSM or another collateral as, um, as your collateral. So next I'm going to cover the swap tab. So this is the automated market maker um, DEX called Karura Swap. Easy, easy to come in here and just choose the token that you want to use on either side of this and perform the swap. The liquidity tab up here is for becoming a liquidity provider. So you can come in here. Um, if you have liquidity in one token, you'll need both sides. So um, you'll just go in, select which token first, um, choose the amount, and, um, and add the liquidity. I'll show this in another demo video. Um, and then the bootstrap. So bootstrap is a feature that um, Karura has launched in order to prevent kind of manipulation or front running of of prices or ratios of the pool um, when when the pool kind of kicks off. So what it does is it allows kind of a warm up period for liquidity providers to come in and provide liquidity to one side, um, the other side, or even both sides if they would like. And what happens is um, th this allows the pool to kind of uh, stabilize and become um, a little bit more close to the kind of fair market value that it may um, already have um, external to Karura. And then after a set period of time, um, whenever a new bootstrap goes live, we always know it's in the proposal and it's in the, the vote. It'll, it'll tell you how long this bootstrap phase will be. And then as soon as the bootstrap period ends, um, the, the trading will go live. What happens if you um, provide liquidity to one side or the other during the bootstrap phase? It'll essentially balance you out and split it 50-50 um, to both sides. So for, as an example, in the KUSD stablecoin and KSM pair, if you were to go in with all of your KSM just on one side, um, what would happen when trading would start is you would become a liquidity provider, so you'd have to be on both sides. So it would essentially sell half of your KSM for KUSD, so you would be even in that pool. Same with KUSD, but the opposite. If you go in on the KUSD side, you're essentially um, planning to buy KSM um, at the current ratio right when the trading begins because that's how you can become even in that um, LP pool. The next section is liquid staking. This is not live yet as of August 6th. Um, so we'll be doing more demo videos on this once that's ready. The earn tab is where once you do become a liquidity provider up here in the liquidity tab as a reminder, you'll do this and then to stake your LP tokens in order to earn um, the, the mining rewards, which is at around 550% right now because the pool is kind of just kind of getting started. The APY will continue to, um, it's kind of an inverse relationship to the pool size. So the bigger the pool size, the, the lower the APY um, gets. You would come here, and I don't have any uh, LP tokens in my account right now, 
but you would go in here and say I had like 12 and I would deposit and then I would begin um, earning rewards here in KAR and then because part of this pair is KUSD I would also earn um, you know, stablecoin surplus share rewards from um, people minting KUSD within the application. Um, next is the governance tab. This is still um, kind of a work in progress as of now, but in the future, this is where you'll be able to participate in governance, um, look at current proposals, vote for council members, etc. And then resources is a great um, thing to remember. So this is going to send you to our um, Career Apps Wiki. This is the homepage, kind of gets you started, tells you where to find us. The best place for support is our Discord. Um, and then if you do um, personally need help getting started or um, have a friend that needs help getting started, definitely send them here to install Polkadot.js. And then there's another tutorial for um, bringing tokens to Karura. So you'll have to have either um, KAR tokens or KSM tokens um, as of today. Um, in order to begin using Karura. You will, just, just as a reminder, um, need to go through a process of actually going from exchange to Kusama as the kind of broad relay chain. And then since we're a parachain on Kusama, you would send from Kusama to Karura. So it's unfortunately right now it's a two-step process. If you're coming from an exchange, it's exchange to Kusama to Karura. So with that, I'll end this video here. Hopefully you learned something new about the basics of Karua, and there'll be more and more videos about um, details of every specific part of the application. Thank you.